Hi Chuckets, I have been following you and watching your YouTube channel for years. I have decided to finally relocate to Las Vegas and want to start a new chapter in my life. I know you're the perfect realtor to help guide me to find my next dream home. I am looking for a modern kitchen, large backyard with a pool and a golf course community. My name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I help buyers like this all the time. So if you're looking for a licensed professional, give us a call at 702-319-1092 or visit lvhomeexperts.com. Buying a home starts here. All right, guys, welcome to the landings at Sorraro here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley by KB Homes. We are just located west of the 15, right there, South Point. So from here to the freeway, you're less than probably about three minutes, okay? You have shopping nearby. Uh, everything's pretty much close. I don't want to say pretty much close. Everything is close. Now, if we just head south, we'll head into Southern Highlands. All your shopping's there, less than five minutes too as well. Now, if you decide to head just straight north here, within probably about 10 minutes, you're gonna hit uh, Blue Diamond, where you're gonna have all your shopping as well. That's one thing that's great about living here in Las Vegas. Everything is so conveniently located, right? I mean, everything. Food, shopping, grocery, whatever you can think of is all here. Now this home right here is one of the four models that are currently open for display. But I believe on this, the landings, you have a total of seven different floor plans to pick and choose from. So today we're gonna go explore this home here. As you can see, we got some pavers down this uh, entryway. This is the 2124 model. All right, let's come on in here because it is a little bit chilly. Now, as you can see, as we walk in here, we have wood-like tile. And the tile here, we have like a six inch stagger to offset. And it's a pretty much open floor plan, as you can see. Now, this community consists of 288 homes. They've just recently opened, so it's been the grand opening, I think since maybe August, I think. So, there are about eight specs that you can pick and choose from, which means they've already picked out your four plan options. And um, they've got a couple that uh, is about to close, but however, you gotta check on to see what the options are. Okay, we're gonna start back from the front here. HOA is what I like about this is $51 a month, which is I think is a very reasonable price. Some of the op options and upgrades that you see, the black hardware here, okay? You got the two car garage, we can't get into that. This one, we have a bedroom downstairs, which is really nice. One of the options and the features that you can do is have the full bath downstairs, which I think would be a great idea to have that, especially by having a bedroom down here. So that way, if you do have guests, your guest has the option to take a shower instead of running upstairs. There's no sense of having a bedroom downstairs and not having a full bath downstairs, right? Or at least a three quarter. The ceilings here are nine foot ceilings, which will be an upgrade. Here's the bathroom, as you can see, this is a full, full bath, tub shower combo, fiberglass, four piece, hardware here. All the fixtures are all black, which will cost you more money. Looks like we got the Petrofina countertops, cast iron sink, under mount. Then we have the cabinet, white shaker cabinet. Now this video is gonna be a little bit quick because I'm running out of time, okay? I gotta get back to work. I mean, this is kind of like work too, but it's fun at the same time because I get literally get to hang out with you guys. And what I like about this is it's kind of like vlogging style, you know? We just walk around like we're actually like hanging out, just talking, looking at this home together. But I do love the fact that the ceilings are high, but I don't think I would definitely do this distribute sounds. It wouldn't make any sense. Looks like we got some uh, orange peel texture on the, uh, the walls here. And uh, we got some straight edge baseboards. Now with the straight edge on the baseboard, just something I want to share with you. Now, we just I've noticed and that you got to be aware of. Now, depending on the type of drywall that you do. I'm sorry, the cornering that you do. So, this is the 1 inch bull nose, right? On the 1 inch bull nose, you can see how it's rounded, okay? With the 1 inch bull nose, and if you do a straight edge and you're trying to make it modern, 
But look at this, they have to cut this, right, into more like a 45 angle, so that way you have this little cornering right here. So if you're going for the modern look, it kind of throws it off. So it's better to do the straight edge on the modern look than to do the straight edge right here where it just comes out. It just has a more of a cleaner look. So if you do a bull nose, but then you do a straight edge baseboards, then it just kind of throws off the style. So I probably want to do this type of baseboard with a bull nose, okay? I'd probably do more of a rounded cap on this. So we got some uh, granite countertops. And these are white shaker cabinets. However, where they cut you short on this one is that you didn't do the full overlay cabinets, okay? They went with the Whirlpool package appliances. Now these right here are not like the top grade package appliances by Whirlpool. However, they did do the upgraded hard composited sink here, okay? Um, they say it's stain resistant. However, with the hard water, you'll still get that hard water spots, especially on the black. Now, when you're doing these black fixtures and stuff like this, you definitely need to make sure to get a soft water, okay? One of the things that you need to be aware of too as well is that you need to ask the builder, okay, if you add a purification system. Is your purification system on the RO system that's hooked up to the bottom of your sink, you drill a pilot hole here, which KB's has a third party company where they can come out and drill a pilot hole, but they'll try to sell you on the system. Is it already pre-wired from this RO system underneath the concrete to take you to the ice maker? That's number one. If it is, then you probably need to take out your filter for the water, okay? But that's if you have a water dispenser on your refrigerator, okay? Because if you have a filter, what happens is you could actually clog that uh, filtration system because you already have an RO system. You don't need a extra filtration system here and it could ruin the system. Just something to keep in mind. I would definitely get rid of this, do the uh, cook countertop, get that extra cabinet space there too as well, okay? Let's take a look at this backyard. This backyard is a little bit uh, small here. This is like a 15 foot set backyard. However, this home is a little bit larger than the uh, other home, so it's taking up a little bit more square footage. So the dining room table here, one thing I'd probably do, kind of give it more of a custom look, is probably add a chandelier. However, if you add a chandelier, can you do the two pendant lightings here too as well? I'd probably do the two pendant lighting, however, um, you just need to make sure that you don't want too much things dangling around because you kind of lose that open floor plan, right? Let's take a look at your pantry space. Now this pantry space is like way too small. So what I would do here is I would definitely have to take this closet space, add a pantry here, and probably add shelves that probably one, two, three, four shelves and run them all the way across there. And you see how like we don't have a light here? As we come down here, I'd probably add another light here so that way we can add additional storage, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut, close this and we're gonna make our way upstairs. All right, let's make our way upstairs. I'm gonna try to over talk the music here so that way uh, you guys can hear me, and this thing is just like blazing loud. One thing here, you do have the option to add the pony wall. However, if you're going to add a workspace here, right, you're not going to add a banister. You're going to leave this pony wall. But if you are not going to utilize the space, then I would definitely do the banister here so that way it opens up. One thing about this model here, you have the option to close this thing off to add an extra bedroom. I don't know if I mentioned how many bedrooms and bathrooms there are on this one, but maybe I should when I go back downstairs and grab that paperwork. So let's start off on this side here. We have our bathroom. They upgraded on the counter to 36 inches, which is really nice. You got the Petrofenia here and the undermounted sink. Now, I haven't talked about this for some time. No matter what home build that you go to, take your finger, rub it along the edge here, okay? You want to make sure there's no little rivets or dings and dents because once you sign off on that day, you're done. Come along here, you do the same thing, okay? Fruit for thought. Here we have tub shower combo. Definitely would leave it the way it is. 
based upon how many bedrooms and bathrooms that I see right now upstairs. We do have eight foot ceilings here. Uh-oh, we got a crack. That could be easily fixed. They're gonna have to take this. This is actually a skin. This actually comes off and they can actually redo this, okay? Now, a lot of stuff that you see at the final walk, I mean, all this stuff could be fixed because it's all cosmetics. All right, let's take a look at this bedroom. This is a more of a smaller bedroom. The window in front here, depending on the elevation that you pick, you may have a different style window. It's just something that you have to keep in mind. As you can see, we also have a transfer grill too as well, which is really nice, especially if you have carpet on the second floor, which I would definitely keep the carpet on the second floor. I wouldn't do any type of hard wood or hard surface upstairs because uh, for me, I always take off my shoes or I have like house shoes and I want to kind of keep it nice and soft and cushy and just warm, especially during the, uh, the winter time as well, okay? One thing I forgot to mention as far as uh, upgrades on the insulation, I would definitely do the uh, insulation. If you do the insulation, right, you want to make sure because this is above this room or rooms that are above the garage on that subfloor, you want to make sure that subfloor is also insulated too as well because you'll definitely get that cold air coming through the, the bottom of your uh, feet. Washer, dryer here. Uh, I love the fact that we got a drain pan. This is gas, smart panel box. Here we have an option to do some cabinets. Uh, I, I would probably do cabinets up here to be honest with you, right? That's just my personal preference. Here, uh, loft style. However, like I said, this gets walled off. You get a door here and this becomes your closet. But we already have one, two, three, four bedrooms total, right? We got one, two, three downstairs, and then we have the uh, primary. I would definitely leave this the way it is on this spec, unless you need it, but if you do this, it just becomes a hallway and it's just too tight. So I don't really like that. All right, let's go back here. Get away from that music there. So annoying trying to film what the hell man what the hell all right closet attic access inside your closet the only thing about this is sucks is when an air conditioning guy needs to work up in your attic okay uh talking about insulation are we talking about blown in insulation versus batting in insulation okay anyway if it's uh blown in insulation as the guys are working here what sucks is all the insulation falls on your on your clothes so that's why the reason i don't like it here well, Right, it just it just kind of sucks. But anyway, hopefully you don't have to go up in there. Here, let's see what we have for the bathroom. Oh, it looks like they definitely did the upgrade with the bench here. Oh, this is all Petrofina, and as you can see, it's all black hardware. Casings around the door here is all black as well. You got the dual basin or two sinks here, and then we have our water closet. Now we only have one light here. Now I'll try to uh, change out these traverse LED lights. You also have a cabinet, uh, have an option to get rid of these medicine cabinets. I would get rid of that because it just looks so like uh, janky. Now, if you guys know what janky is, then you probably grew up around the same time I did. Now you're just showing your age, that's right. So I don't know, what do you guys think about this home so far? Ooh, I definitely love these windows here. Definitely brings in a lot of light. Now, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and give us a call. We definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. There's no charge to hire a real estate agent, especially the ones that specialize in new homes. Look, I definitely love the opportunity to earn your business, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. So if you guys are interested in buying a home, give us a call. But before I let you go... Um, let me tell you this, it is a two story, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three full baths with a two car garage. And the starting price on here, or the base price for this Elevation E is $414,990. Now guys, I wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed folks. If you guys wanna check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you wanna purchase a home and wanna get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and wanna get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.